play nice. Not all ancient ciphers were so bad. The flag is not in standard format. There's a port and playfair.py. Now Playfair has a cipher from the 1800s by Wheatstone. And basically the way it works is you create this table, a five by five table, and you encrypt pairs of letters at a time. And so if your pairs of letters are in a rectangle, you pick the opposite corners of the rectangle. If they're in a column, you go below that column, um, below where you are. So DE goes to OD, so you slide down. Again, then we have the rectangle, picking the opposite corners. And if they're in the same row, you wrap to the right. So there's the, the pictures of it again. Now they've given us source code for it. And that's in this file here. So when, one thing they've changed is they've changed the square size from five to six. They generate the square, they have this thing for finding the indices of letters. And here you see the algorithm for encrypting. So if they're in the same, they slide by one row or column, and otherwise they pick the opposite corners. And their encrypt simply goes through two letters at a time, doing that encryption of a pair, possibly adding one letter at the end from this string. Uh, it's sort of odd that they put the whole string and then just pick the zero element of it. So they basically just add an N at the end <coughs> if the character was odd. They open their alphabet, which is where they get the matrix from, from a key file. We don't have access to that key file. And they open the message from another file. They encrypt it. But what's in good news is they're going to send us the alphabet. And what's interesting is we don't need this key file. They've actually encoded this is the alphabet right here, this N5 string. That is the key. So since we have the key, we don't need to do any kind of brute forcing or cryptographic analysis. We can simply uh, decode it. Now we have to be reasonably fast because they've set that alarm. If we decode it, they'll print the flag for us. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've written a decoder. They didn't give us a decoder program. But decoding is fairly straightforward. So encrypting, we added one. And it's mod six, so decrypting we add five, which is really negative one in the mod six ring. So one plus five is six, mod six is zero. So adding five undoes adding one. Then the decrypt string, you just go through and decrypt pairs. We know the alphabet, it's the same every time we connect. So I just hard coded that. I'll uh, put the message that I want to decrypt on the command line, and there we go. And so we can netcat to mercury picoctf.net and we'll get our port number 19354. So there's our message. So we can say Python. Uh, with this in Python 2, apparently. All right, so there's the, re the reply that we need. That's going to be the decrypted message. And there's our flag. Flag's not in standard format, so we don't need that PicoCTF. And there we go.